Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Before we dive into today's message, I'd like to ask a special favor. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button right now. This simple action helps us reach more people with God's Word. Also, don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your participation is crucial for the growth of this community. Today, we're going to explore a theme that touches all of our hearts, the peace of God. In a world full of turmoil, anxiety, and uncertainty, finding true peace often seems like an impossible task. However, the scriptures reveal an extraordinary promise capable of transforming our reality. In John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus tells us, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. These words, spoken by the Son of God Himself, carry unparalleled power. They are not mere words of consolation, but a living promise, capable of calming the most violent storms of our lives. Over the next few minutes, we'll uncover together the secrets to experiencing this divine peace in its fullness. Let's begin our journey by reflecting on the unique nature of the peace offered by Christ. Unlike the fleeting and superficial peace that the world provides, God's peace transcends circumstances. It doesn't depend on favorable external conditions, but springs from an inexhaustible source within our being. Let's imagine for a moment the scene in which Jesus spoke these words. He was about to face the cross, the most challenging moment of his earthly mission. Yet in the face of imminent suffering, he speaks of peace. This reveals something profound to us. God's peace is not the absence of problems, but the presence of something much greater. This divine peace manifests itself like a mighty river, continuously flowing within us. It sustains us in moments of joy, strengthening our gratitude, and supports us in times of tribulation, renewing our hope. It's a peace that defies human logic, surpassing all understanding, as Philippians 4 verse 7 reminds us. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now you might be wondering, how can I experience this peace in my daily life? How can I allow it to transform my reality? Let's explore some practical ways to access and cultivate God's peace in our daily lives. First, we must recognize that God's peace is intrinsically linked to our connection with Him. Just as a branch separated from the vine cannot bear fruit, we cannot experience the fullness of divine peace if we're disconnected from the source. Jesus invites us to remain in Him, as we read in John 15 verse 4. Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. This abiding in Christ translates into a life of intimacy with God. It involves dedicating time to prayer, not just as a monologue of requests, but as a genuine dialogue with the Father. It's in these moments of communion that our soul finds rest. Our concerns are shared, and our perspective is renewed. Reading and meditating on the scriptures also play a crucial role in this process. God's Word is living and active, able to penetrate even to dividing soul and spirit, as Hebrews 4.12 teaches us. As we immerse ourselves in eternal truths, our mind is renewed, and our heart is aligned with the divine will. Another fundamental aspect of experiencing God's peace is cultivating trust. Often our peace is stolen by fear and anxiety about the future. However, the scriptures repeatedly invite us to trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 exhorts us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This trust is not a naive denial of difficulties, but a deep recognition that God is in control, even when we don't understand His ways. It's the certainty that, as Romans 8.28 states, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. The practice of forgiveness is another crucial element in experiencing God's peace. Resentment, hurt, and bitterness are real peace thieves. 
They consume our emotional and spiritual energy, creating barriers between us and God, and between us and our neighbors. Jesus in his teaching emphasized the importance of forgiveness, even including it in the prayer he taught us, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors, Matthew 6, 12. The act of forgiving is not an emotion, but a decision. It's choosing to release the other person and ourselves from the weight of offense, handing the situation over to God. When we do this, we experience incomparable freedom and make room for God's peace to flow freely in our being. Gratitude also plays a fundamental role in experiencing divine peace. When we cultivate a grateful heart, our perspective changes radically. Instead of focusing on what we lack or what's wrong, we begin to recognize the countless blessings we receive daily. Paul exhorts us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Practicing gratitude doesn't mean denying difficulties, but choosing to see beyond them, recognizing God's faithfulness in all circumstances. It's an exercise that helps us keep our eyes fixed on the author and perfecter of our faith, as Hebrews 12 verse 2 reminds us. Another crucial aspect of experiencing God's peace is cultivating healthy relationships within the Christian community. We weren't created to live in isolation, but to be part of a body where each member plays a vital role. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10 reminds us, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. In fellowship with other believers, we find support, encouragement, and accountability. We share our struggles and victories, pray for one another, and build each other up. This sense of belonging and mutual support creates an environment conducive to the flourishing of God's peace in our lives. It's important to emphasize that experiencing God's peace doesn't mean being exempt from challenges or conflicts. In fact, Jesus warned us in John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. God's peace doesn't isolate us from life's storms, but anchors us firmly in the midst of them. Think for a moment about Jesus sleeping in the boat during a furious storm, as reported in Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. While the disciples were terrified, Jesus rested in perfect peace. His peace didn't depend on the absence of the storm, but on the certainty of God's presence and power. Similarly, we can experience this supernatural peace in the midst of our own storms. When we face frightening diagnoses, painful losses, or oppressive uncertainties, God's peace manifests as an anchor for our soul. It reminds us that regardless of circumstances, we are in the hands of a sovereign and loving God. This peace also empowers us to be agents of reconciliation in a divided world. Jesus calls us peacemakers in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9 declaring that we will be called children of God. As we experience divine peace in our own lives, we become channels of that peace to others. Our words, actions, and attitudes begin to reflect Christ's peacemaking nature. As we walk this journey of experiencing God's peace, it's crucial to remember that it's an ongoing process. Like any meaningful relationship, our connection with God requires constant cultivation, there will be moments when we feel his peace tangibly and others when we'll need to cling to the promises of scripture with unwavering faith. In these moments of apparent absence of peace, we're invited to follow the example of the psalmist who in the midst of anguish exclaims, why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him my savior and my God. Psalm 42 verse 11. This attitude of hope and praise, even in the midst of difficulties, paves the way for the renewed manifestation of God's peace in our being. Concluding our reflection on God's peace, let's remember Paul's words in Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, 
since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. May we allow this peace to govern our decisions, relationships, and life perspectives. Dear brothers and sisters, my prayer is that each of you experiences the fullness of God's peace in your life. May you feel the loving embrace of the Father in the midst of joys and sorrows, victories and challenges, finding in Him the perfect refuge for your souls. Remember, the peace Jesus offers is not an abstract concept or a fleeting emotion. It's a person, Christ Himself dwelling in us through His Spirit. As we surrender completely to Him, we discover a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that the world cannot give or take away. Before we wrap up, I'd like to invite you to put into practice what we've learned today. Take a moment right now to surrender your worries to God in prayer. Allow His peace to flood your heart and mind. And in the coming days, consciously seek to cultivate this peace through intimacy with God, trust in His promises, and love for your neighbor. If this video touched your heart, please share it with someone who might need a word of encouragement. Don't forget to leave a like and share in the comments how God's peace has manifested in your life. Your story might be exactly what someone needs to hear today. Thank you for taking the time to be with us. May the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Until the next video, stay in the peace of the Lord.